Hello everyone and thanks for watching my online lesson on equation of parallel lines. This is fairly simple, it's one step up from finding the equation of a line, there's just one simple fact you need to know. So I've just drawn an example here of two parallel lines and what we notice about these is that the reason they're parallel is that they have the same gradient. So this question says find an equation of the straight line which is parallel to the line y equals a half x plus 2 and passes through the point 0, 4. So the first thing I can say is that the gradient of this line they're asking me to find must be a half because it's parallel to this line here and this line has a gradient of a half. So my equation is going to say y equals a half x and then I just need to find what C is, but they've told me here that it passes through the point 0, 4. If I think about where this point is on a set of axes, it's on the y-axis and it is at 4. It cuts the y-axis at 4. So this is my value of C. So the equation of the line is y equals a half x plus 4. And that's quite a simple question and it's two marks. Here's the next type of question they can give me on parallel lines. So in this question, they're asking me which of these four lines are parallel. So I actually can't tell if they're parallel or not until I get them in the form y equals mx plus c. Once I've got them in this form, I'll be able to tell if they're parallel, if their values of m are the same, if their gradients are the same. So line A, they've already given me in this form, y equals 2x plus 4. Line B, I'm going to have to divide everything by 2 so that I have 1y. So y equals a half x plus 2. Line C, I'm going to have to start by subtracting 2x from both sides. That'll give me 2y equals minus 2x plus 4. And then I'll have to divide by 2. So that gives me y equals minus x plus 2. And then line D, I'm going to have to minus 2x from both sides. This gives me minus y equals minus 2x plus 4. And then multiply everything by minus 1 to get rid of the minus y. So I get y equals 2x minus 4. Then the two lines that are parallel are the ones with the same gradient. So it's line A because that has a gradient of 2, and line D, because that also has a gradient of 2. Here's the third type of question they can give me on parallel lines. This question says, the diagram shows a straight line L1 drawn on a grid. The straight line L2 is parallel to the straight line L1 and passes through the point 0, minus 5. Find an equation of the straight line L2. So the straight line L2, I'll need to know its gradient and its y-intercept. Well, its gradient will be the same as the gradient of the line L1 because it's parallel to it. So I need to find the gradient of this straight line. I'm going to pick any two points where it crosses the grid. So I'm going to go for this one here and this one here. So I'm just going to draw a triangle, I'm going to go across there and up to there. So my triangle is 2 squares high and 4 across. Just double check with your axes when you do that, that it definitely is 4 and definitely is 2 going up. So the gradient of this line L1 and also the gradient of L2 is 2 divided by 4, which is a half. So I've got the gradient of my line L2, 
And as before, they've told me what the y-intercept is in the question because they say it passes through the point 0 minus 5. And if we think about where this is on a set of axes, it's on the y-axis. So the y-intercept is minus 5. So the equation of the line L2 is y equals a half x minus 5. Here's one of these questions for you to try. So I want you to find the equation of the line M, which is parallel to the line L, which is shown here on the grid, but it passes through the point 0 minus 3. If you pause the video now, you can unpause when you're ready to see the solution. Here's the full solution. So you should have that the gradient is minus a half. It's very crucial there that you realise this line is going down. It has a negative gradient. So it's not a half, it's minus a half. And then because it passes through the point 0 minus 3, the y-intercept must be minus 3. So the equation of the line is y equals minus a half x minus 3. Thank you for watching.